Hi, welcome to the Bird Feed Podcast, and I'm here today with Graham Painter from Wonder. So one of the things that we talk about a lot at Wonder is the global aspects of Houston and the fact that it's probably the most international city, at least in the United States, certainly, and the mayor talks about it all the time, and reports have come out, but what is it that you see that they don't see? I'm so glad to hear you say this. So I, I recently actually posted about this. Uh, I think that when I talk about advertising in general, right, the trends of advertising have moved from above the line broadcast to integrated, uh, where everybody had to be digital, mm -hmm. they have a digital backbone, but also these experiences that kind of tied experience together, uh, to this kind of tech boom where everybody was looking for tech solutions. Yep. I think the real new future of advertising, and we're, we're watching it, is multiculturalism. So not just multicultural agencies, but agencies that specialize in all markets that have expertise for every culture you can imagine mm -hmm. in this great country. And I think Houston, as the most diverse, the most ethnically diverse city or, or metropolitan area in the United States, is the perfect testing ground, and it's the perfect place for us to be doing this. So uh, consumer brands can test products here and reach pretty much any culture base they want. Yeah, absolutely. Consumer brands should be testing products if they're not, uh, but they should also be thinking toward using resources available here mm -hmm. because we reflect the city. We're all made up of, of people from diverse backgrounds uh, that, that are indeed Houston. So you don't just have to go to Seattle anymore or uh, you know to the little indie agencies in New York. You can get bang up creative right here in town. So what makes Houston different are a lot of things, right? So the size, it's massive. It's the fourth largest city in the United States. We have pretty much all the professional sports here, uh, many of them. We, you can play golf here all year round. Uh, fashion, food, music. Why do we not consider ourselves to have a creative industry here? Houston, in my experience, you know, we've been going at this a good four years now. I think it's a town that has a, an imbalance. So you have some of the greatest minds in the world, but they're in sciences, they're in engineering. If you look at the oil and gas industry, which by far dominates everything, we're the energy capital mm -hmm. of the world, mm -hmm. you have brilliant people who are there to do engineering and there to do various sciences. That is a very different process in many respects from, the w uh, from a creative outlook. Let me explain to you. When a creative does something, we are coming up with brilliant mistakes. We're literally stumbling around creating accidents that are going to do something brilliant on your behalf. I wouldn't want my engineers building a bridge with that mentality. No. <laughs> and so um, I think by virtue of us being so heavy and strong in the geosciences, mm -hmm. I think that we've created an environment that's not only – let's say not encouraging creatives to come, but it's almost anti-creative in that sense. So we need a little incentive to help to build more of this kind of reckless creative environment that's gonna create more innovation. Yeah. So do you think that we could have a real creative industry economy in Houston someday? And we what would it take? You and I are building it, and, 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 and I think that's where we are. You know, I think it's gonna take more of us sticking together uh, I think that a little incentive would be necessary. But here's the thought. We need to do something that's really going to put us on the map. Uh, and, and, and it's hopefully a matter of time that we either slay it in the con advertising awards and start attracting all the attention that we need, and or we start really attacking in the film industry, which touches through everything mm -hmm. and builds the infrastructure necessary, not just for my industry in advertising, but all the arts. Yep. We're going to break here. Thank right. you, Graham, for being here. Well, thanks for having me, Lynn. Thanks for tolerating me.